Hi, boys and girls. Miss Magoni here. Miss you guys. I hope you're all staying healthy. I created an activity for you today. It's called Which Shape Doesn't Belong? So it's going to pull your geometry knowledge in today. Uh, the activity is appropriate for students in second, third, and fourth grade. Uh, fifth graders can certainly give it a try. They might find it a little bit too easy. If you look in the slide, you're going to see the, the basic directions, which tell you to look at the shapes, figure out which one doesn't belong, and justify your thinking. I want to take a couple of minutes to go over the, the third one. I want to make sure you're clear on what that means. To justify your thinking means you're going to explain why you chose the shape you chose. You're going to give a mathematical reason as to why you believe the shape you chose doesn't belong. And this is really important. It would, it's what makes this uh, activity a little unique. There is no one correct answer. In fact, two people could look at the same slide and come up with different answers. It just depends on your reasoning. So being able to explain why is very, very important. Once you finish all six, you'll see a slide that has a word bank and some sentence frames. I created these to help you when you go to actually write up your responses. If you know the shape name, use it in the response. For example, if you think the equilateral triangle doesn't belong, you're going to say the equilateral triangle doesn't belong because blah, blah, blah. And if you're not sure of the exact shape name, and this might be the case with our younger students, you can just use the color. You can say the yellow shape doesn't belong because. So either way, make sure you complete that, part, that because part because that is the most important part. After you finish, I'd like you to email them to me. I'd love to read your responses and your thinking. Um, I'm going to provide my email address after the last, at the end of the slides. Uh, you can email them to me by writing your responses right in the email, or you can send them to me as an attachment if you know how to do that. If you have trouble getting them to me, you could use the mode of communication that you've set up with your teachers for some of the other tasks and maybe send them to your teacher, and your teacher will definitely let me know that you've completed it. Uh, if you finish it and just can't get the answers to me, just email me and we'll figure out a way together for me to see your responses. Okay, I look forward to hearing from you and reading your responses. Good luck.